Welcome to the Israeli Museum uh, in Jerusalem. Uh, the museum is actually deals with everything. Classical uh, art, excellent modern art, um, Judaica, and of course, history. If you want to know about the history of Israel, this is the place. We are heading to the Shrine of the Book. Sadly, I cannot enter with a camera into it, and I will talk about it outside. But the main issue is the Jewish Temple from the time of King Herod, around 66 AD, a few years before the destruction of it. We will turn right. And you can see two wooden trees, which is actually an amazing statue of a Chinese artist. It's nice and breezy now. I know that I will make a mistake because I cannot pronounce the Chinese names. Um, Ai Weiwei. He was born in Beijing and he actually deals with um, an amazing uh, uh, political issue uh, a few years ago. I saw a beautiful exhibition of it, but the trees actually remain in that museum. It's actually made of uh, iron. And they took, it's like they took. Um, pieces of trees from all over China and the idea is that they looks like one because that's what the government want them to be look like only one person but they have so many nationalities there are so, there are so many differences, differences between themselves then here it is a beautiful beautiful tree at the end it looks dead because you cannot force someone to be someone that he's not. Um, the Dead Sea Scrolls were found next to the Dead Sea in the place that now we call it Qumran. Um, we have more than 1900 pieces of the Bible. It was actually copied at the first century BC. And we have, I think, most of the biblical books I'm talking about the the Old Testament, the Jewish one. But they, as a community, were totally different than uh, Judaism. At that time, at its time of the Second Temple, uh, we have different kind of Judaism. One of them were the Isis, or the Beyachad, the together um, community. They left Jerusalem. They said that it's a little bit corrupted, and they will be uh, back when uh, Jerusalem will be purified and by that they actually meant the temple as well. They divided themselves from others. The others are son of darkness. They are the son of light. And in that case you can see the differences between their colors. Another thing that you can actually see is the water. Although they've been in the desert, they purify their body at least once a day. Then the water is a big issue there, and they built for that aqueducts. Another thing that you can actually see is the shape of the white dome. It's just like the lid of the vases that I hide uh, all the um, uh, scrolls that we found. Then, Son of Darkness and Son of Light will bring us to the model of Jerusalem from the end of the second temple time. Look like a beautiful are the sarcophagus. That is Samaritan one. Third century. And look at that. Made of marble. 
that we found from Caesarea, from the Roman time. There are endless things to see in that museum. Please don't come to here for one hour. Are you ready to see the temple? Are you ready to see the city from uh, 66 AD? That's it. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. It's a huge model. You can see the differences of scale by looking at those two ladies. In about four years from now, that beautiful temple and that beautiful city will be destroyed. The temple itself. King Herod built it. Instead of the temple, what you could see before is another temple. But it was too small. The temple is located on the foundation stone. According to tradition, that's where God started to create the word. Then I hope that you will hear me because of uh, it's, it's, there's a lot of breeze, which is so nice to me, but I'm not sure that it will be good to you. Then I hope that you will stay with me. Don't go away. Don't go away. Then in that matter, King Herod, when he wanted to build the temple, he had a problem. The foundation stone is too small. And he wanted to impress the people, especially the Romans. Uh, before he built it, I wanted to understand that God told the Jews to build his temple on Mount Moriah, which is the place that Abraham almost sacrificed Isaac. Then in that case, we had two temple, uh, temples. The first one was built by um, King Solomon. The second one was built by him. But because it was too small, what he did, he destroyed everything that was around it. He filled valleys, he destroyed houses, and then he built platforms. He, he created a plaza. This is the eastern wall. The other side of it is the western wall. That's where the Jews are praying. The Jews cannot pray at the temple because today it's a Muslim site. The Muslims believe that Muhammad descended into heaven from there. Um, from time to time, someone actually tells me that, oh, come on, that that's not where the temple used to be, uh, mainly because that's a Muslim site. The temple was somewhere there. Then by archaeological evidence, we know that the temple was there and, uh, and uh, Josephus Flavius wrote us a lot about it. We know exactly everything about it. And that is uh, basically by, built by King Herod uh, 600 years before the uh, Christians, sorry, before the Muslims came. Then the temple itself, I'll try to show you, there's a fence there around it. That's where the Gentiles could visit. They couldn't enter the, to the area of the temple itself. All of it, all of there, yeah, there and there, you could find people who exchange money or sell you something. Jesus, remember, was very, very against it. Um, the inner part, that is the women department, although men and women could be there together, but men could enter uh, through Nicanor uh, gate to the area around it. To the Holy of the Holy, which is at the second part of the building, and you see that it's narrower at the end, that is the Holy of the Holy, and that's the high priest could enter once a year at Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. That area is another palace that King Herod built for himself. You know, if someone special will come, he can actually bring him to there. The Antonia, another, another, another problematic place. Antonia was built by King Herod because from there, he could um, uh, see everything. See everything that happened in the temple. And um, according to so many, this is the place that Pontus, Pontus, Pontius P. 
Pilate, uh, judge Jesus. Um, from time to time, I'm getting horrible things that say that nothing here was built by the Jews. Everything was here built by the Romans. If you are looking at King Herod as a Roman guy, because he was a Roman citizen, then it's okay. But if you want to say Judaism wasn't exist here, it means that you actually think Christianity wasn't exist here too. Because Jesus visited that temple three times a year, like every Jew. Why? Mainly because God told the Jews to visit his house, the Jewish temple, three times a year. Jesus never visited the uh, temple, um, uh, the city at Easter time. He visited in Passover time. The disciples later on stayed at Mount Zion waiting for Pentecost, which is another uh, uh, important holiday that every Jew must be there, but it, they call it Shavuot, not holiday, not uh, Pentecost. Pentecost and Easter, it's, it's, it's things that happened because of Jesus later on. Then in that case, although we talked about the temple, because that's what the first thing that you can see, uh, or the most important thing that you can see, the city started from there. This is the city of David, and if it's okay by you, let's make now um, a tour around it. Before that, you can see the upper city, which is mainly now the Jewish quarter of today, and if you've been in the Jewish quarter, you actually have to walk all the way down to reach the Western Wall, then this is the lower city. And there are so many kinds of walls here. We will talk about it when we reach there, because one of the issues is, um, where is the tomb of Jesus? And because it's very windy here, let's continue. And maybe down there it will be less windy. I love this place. Um, the museum is open uh, seven days a week. No, sorry, six days a week. On Sunday it's not. From here you can see the Knesset, the Parliament of Israel. You see the Israel flag on top of it? Here it is. That's the, those ugly houses are the parliament houses, the government square. One of them belongs now to our new prime minister. At the description, you will find options to uh, contact me, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, you can ask me whatever you want. Feel free to do that and please subscribe my channel. If you never met me, this is the time. Olive trees, you can see the fruit on it. You can harvest it in October. Let's say two months from now. The Jewish temple was between two to three times higher than the Dome of the Rock. From here you can see beautifully the inner part, which is um, the place for the Jews. And outside you can see the fence. Here it is. Um, we found the description in, in, in um, Greek that say that if you will enter to here, uh, we will kill you. <laughs> Don't. This is the area of the Lion's Gate today of today and it leads to beautiful pools pools of Bethesda according to the book of John he, Jesus cured a man that couldn't uh, couldn't walk um, um, he was a cripple and he knew that if he will be the first one who will jump into the um, the Bethesda pools he will be cured and Jesus told him just stand up and go do you believe in me yes then go uh, he, it was on Shabbat, and he took his bed with him. The Jews were very angry of, of it, mainly because to work on f Saturday, it's um, it's not allowed. To cure someone, yes, but to tell him to take the, his bed and go, that is no, no, no. Then that part, the city of David, the upper part, right there, is Hulda Gates and I do have an amazing video about that area. This is the southern part of the 
of the temple and you can see the stairs that until today we can actually see it together with the the um, gate um, who built it King Solomon King Solomon built the temple not King David um, King Solomon built the Ophel Ophel some of you actually mentioned that the temple was there but the Ophel the, the meaning of it in Hebrew is the one who climb up that's the place to climb up to uh, temple then that can the oh the temple couldn't be at awful itself city of david is right in front of you but you can see the city of david at 66 ad then don't look for the palace of king david because what you can see here it's um, um, a palace a compound that was built by one of the queens that converted herself into christianity into judaism uh, king hadayev but that is where uh, King David built a city. Um, it was small, but it was quite protected. You can see the valley here, and there's a valley on the other side, although now it's a little bit difficult to see. But you can see here the Gay Beninom and, and the Kidron Valley that divided it from us. And if we are an enemy, it's going to be difficult to conquered us then this is city of David it wasn't big but it's such an amazing visit a place to visit then don't miss it what you can see here is the pool of Siloam which used to be the biggest mikveh um, at city of David uh, mikveh it's a Jewish ritual bath that when you're walking up to the temple and especially at the three holidays uh, you have to purify your body, but think about it. 10,000 people are here in the same days that they need a big pool. Uh, the pool was part of the Gihon water that that uh, started at the city of David. And another reason why King David built it, because this, this is the only spring in Jerusalem. Uh, we are not sure that the location was there. I will now move it a little bit to the right um, because we found it. That model is earlier than that. To the left of it, you can see another valley. And that, the city of the, what should I say, the, the common people, just like me. Because the priest lived on top of it. Then, you can see the eastern wall, uh, sorry, the southern wall of Jerusalem. And here, and here we are reaching Mount Zion. That place uh, is a new one. When the Assyrian started, decided to attack us, the king of Israel, Hezekiah, decided to make um, to, to build a wall all over to protect the city and. And that time, people started to live. Actually, before that, people started to live to live here. According to what we believe at Mount Zion, we can find so many things. But at 66 uh, AD, uh, we believe that the tomb of King David, here it is, was there. It looks like a typical uh, tomb from the time of King Herod. The upper part of the pyramid is the nephesh, which is the soul and the body was supposed to be there. The location is there. If it, is it true or not? We don't know. But you can see houses of uh, rich people. Some of them were priests. Mm, the theater. We know that according to Josephus Flavius that there is a theater. We found something smaller than that. I'm not sure that he was talking about that. Maybe we will find it later on. Remember, it's only 2021. And now we are at the western part of the walls, not of the temple. From here you can see two important things. The first one is the palace of King Herod. You can see two symmetric palaces and 
we found the, the pools that were there. He built that and the fortress that we know it as Tower of David um, next to it because he knew that if something will be uh, bad and if he will have to run away then he can go straight to the uh, fortress. Here it is with the three towers and that is today Jaffa Gate. And if we are talking about the western wall, I don't know if you can see the Oh, because the sun is in my eyes, I don't know if I can see something. But, all right, there are two doors there, and to the right of it, you might see, yes, a red arrow. This is the plaza of the Western Wall. The Western Wall is all around. But the plaza is only a small part of it. And why they just are praying at the plaza? They just are praying at the plaza because it's close to the uh, to the Holy of the Holy. But mainly because that part now is part of the Muslim quarter, and most of them are using um, the house. They uh, they are using the walls as part of the walls, uh, uh, one of their wall in their houses. Then they just can pray mostly at the western wall. You can see that Antonia, that according to, yeah, here it is. According to what we believe might be the place that Pontius Pilate charge Jesus. And now, let's talk a little bit about where Jesus was crucified. Because according to the Bible, we know that, that he was crucified outside the walls. That is correct. But... The walls of today is the walls from, let's say, 2,000 years from now. Um, I mean, it was 2,000 years ago. The city is different. And because of it, we do have two options for it. That one, you can see the gate. I'm just, it's difficult. Yeah, I can see the gate there. To the left, there's a stone. This is the Golgotha. Then Jesus went out of the wall. That wall wasn't exist. At this time, it was built later on by Agrippas II, the nephew of King Herod. And if we are talking about who built the Jewish temple, then Herod started it. But we believe that, um, yeah, according to Josephus, it took him only 18 years to build it. But we know that, and he started to build it in around 17 AD. A BC, then uh, we know we're almost sure that Agrippas actually ended that place because we found so many evidence for that, and that was another almost like 45 years, and that's what uh, I think the book of John mentioned. Then, in that case, he was crucified outside. The church of the Holy Sepulchre is not there, it's, it's there, but at this time it wasn't there. The only problem is that in the 19th century, which is not actually a problem, the second option is uh, the 19th century, some uh, Christians actually say that uh, it cannot be the correct place because every Jew is buried out of the city and the Bible mentioned it. Then they found another option, which is somewhere there. But look at that, it's surrounded with walls as well. Because at 60, uh, I mean, just after King Herod time, um, Agrippas started to build another wall around it. Then even the second tomb of Jesus at this time wasn't surrounded with wall, but later on, maybe yes, and if that is Damascus gate of today, then the tomb of Jesus is not so far away for him. It's called a garden tomb. Amazing, isn't it? We found some evidence of the walls very close to the garden tomb. It's called the third wall. Such an amazing model, isn't it?
And we are going back to the Jewish temple. Look up here for it is. The has the poles. The Antonia. The temple. And I'm standing where God, Garden of Gethsemane is. Right here. And if you like that video and you reach that point, it means that you are brave. Then first of all, subscribe my channel. You know what I will now climb up from there. Subscribe my channel. And secondly, if it's okay by you, some of you ask me to do that and I did it. Uh, you can support me because I'm not working for more, more than one and a half here by the link in uh, the description that's called buy me a coffee. If you want to buy me a coffee and by that I will actually be able to uh, go around Israel to prepare more and more videos. And you are my family now. You are my tourist and I will be more than happy. Uh, if you want me to pray for you, if you want me to light a candle for you, if you want me to put a note between the western wall stones, I'm here for that. Then see you in my next video. Bye bye.